Hey right, guys, Matt Greer here. I'm in Ellsworth Ranch. And we're about to tour the Telluride. This is built by Taylor Morrison, 3,904 square feet. It's a five bedroom, four and a half bath. And this model starts at $945,990. Of course, you can get all sorts of upgrades if you want, but this is, you know, for someone who wants to live in Queen Creek, wants a bigger house, a uh, few more amenities, this is a great option. So let's go ahead and check it out. This house has a lot of cool features. All right, so over there, sales office, that's gonna be the garage, and it's a four car garage, okay? You see the house goes over this way, a huge tree in the way. What I like, I really like this kind of portico style entry. How it comes in. I like that it's open, lets in light, but it also shields you from the sun and the rain when you're walking into your house. Gorgeous. That window right there is actually to your in-home office. Very well thought out. You're gonna notice that this home is very similar to ones in Story Rock because the same floor plan. Uh, but this is in Queen Creek. So what's cool is you can get same style house, but you can get it for quite a bit less because you're in Queen Creek rather than Scottsdale. So that is the office. Huge, by the way, when you first walk in. I mean, this would be a great area if you work from home or, you know, I would like this for working from home. Also, when my kids do their homework, it's a great place for them to sit down. Really cool. Okay, now we go into the house. Notice it's very open. Got some stuff this way. Let me just show you this real quick and then we're actually gonna come back further down that way in a minute. But right here is your laundry room. Huge, absolutely gigantic, okay? A lot of people see the price of this home, being that it's close to a million dollars. Once you start adding upgrades, you'll probably beat a million dollars. Um, and they don't understand why, and then they see what's in here, and it makes sense. There's so much space. There's so many nice features on here too. All right, so, what I like is you've got this dining area. Notice how the architecture, you know, it's open, but the architecture sections off this room. It's really cool. I mean, it goes deep as well. As you can see, you've got the rest of the house, okay? So you'll notice that in this home, what's cool is everything is sectioned off by these studs, trusses that go across but they're still open so I like that because it just shows how you know they still need load bearing walls to hold up these huge spaces but also you know a lot of people want that break in the different rooms this gives you that break without closing off the floor plan so I really like that huge open living area right here that goes around to first off you got these windows but in tons of light, and then it goes into your kitchen. And these kitchens are beautiful. So first you've got this massive island. Do you like this? I believe this island is actually bigger than the one in Scottsdale. Um, I'd have to check, I don't know. But just look at this thing. Built-in stovetop. <clears throat> Very nice cafe series appliances in this one. One thing to remember when you're buying a new home, if you want appliances, make sure you talk about that. Get that on the contract. Make sure you know which ones you're gonna get uh, if the home's not already built, okay? So let's go check this out. Now, like I said, that one's got the cafe appliances. Now. Keep in mind, model homes always have top of the line stuff. So if you want top of the line, like I said, make sure you get that in your contract. That's something we could talk about. And that's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I recommend using an agent. It's because we know to look for those things. All right, so that is the massive pantry. Let's go over to the first bedroom. It's actually over on this side. Okay. So I like this bedroom that opens into the backyard because there's so much light in here. And what's cool about it is this bedroom has 
walk-in closet, which is really cool. Who doesn't like a walk-in closet? And it's got a bathroom right here. It's not an ensuite, so the rest of the home can use it. But you know, when it's just you living here, you don't have guests or people. This is the bathroom for that bedroom. Very nice, you'll notice countertops. Look at that countertop. Now look at that one. Notice they match. There's a mirror with your favorite real estate agent. And then you go in a little further. We got the shower. Nice picture frame window. Absolutely lovely. Okay. Now, this section of the house, I really like. This is such a cool thing with their floor plan. Is they've got this other room, okay? You've got the main living room over there that we went through first. But then you've got this little area. It's like a game room. I've seen them put pool tables in here. I mean, there's so much space to do whatever. Usually have a TV. And then remember when we first came in, that's the laundry room. That's that office in the entryway. Okay, now right here, we've got the first bathroom down this hallway, which has a dual vanity sink. Nice mirror, favorite agent again. <laughs> um, nice window in here. And then look at this. Just look at this tile work, you guys. You just notice how well it is. Everything lines up perfectly square. That's good. That's one of the other benefits to getting a house like this that does cost a little more is the work that goes into it. it costs more, but it tends to be nicer. linen closet okay then we've got another bedroom there's a five bedroom so we've gone through three of them this is the third this one as well has a walk-in closet very cool like that right here you got a window off the front very nice lets in the light Right here, this is what's cool. This room is actually its own suite. Got a microwave, got your own fridge, wet bar. See your favorite agent in the microwave, that's cool. But then you've got this seating area right here. And this is nice. What's cool about this is you could use this for like multi generational family or if. I don't know, maybe you got some in your family you don't like talking to them, throw them over here. The other thing you could do is you could Airbnb this room. If that's what you wanted to do, you could, because it's got everything it needs. Okay, got your own ensuite in here. Nice walk-in shower. Okay, toilet over there. Nice counters. And then you've got your own walk-in closet. And wait till you see the walk-in closet on the master bedroom. We're gonna go over there now. Absolutely massive. But that was the fourth bedroom. So the master is going to be the fifth bedroom. Let's go over there now. Let me show it to you. Back in that awesome game room right here. Love it. Another thing to take into account when uh, buying a new home, real quick before I go to the master, is the yard. Okay. This one has obviously been landscaped. Oh, they got the music up loud. So, that one's been beautiful. This one's been beautifully landscaped, okay? Um, when you buy a new home, that's one of the things you wanna find out is, will it be landscaped or is that something you gotta take care of? Some people like doing the landscaping themselves because they make completely custom. Others, not so much. They wanna, have it done first. All right, so basically, let me just show you first. You've got whole living room area, and you have this section right here. This takes you in to your primary uh, bedroom, which is that one. But then right over here, you've got entryway from the garage, and then you've got this half bath right here. Really like it because. That seems to be the place after a long car ride. You come in from the garage, you gotta use the bathroom, it's right there. 
All right, so let's check out this master bedroom. Absolutely amazing too. So this master bedroom, huge. Lots of square footage in here. Also, look at the ceiling. How cool is that? Looks amazing. Got this huge window. Lots and tons of light. Got another one there. Another one there. Another one there. I always tell people don't skimp on windows. If you can add windows, add windows. They add light, they add value. More ambient light makes you happier. And if you want privacy, you just put blinds over it. Okay. So really cool in here, the master bathroom. There's your favorite agent with his cell phone has a Jack and Jill sink or his and hers sink, I should say. <laughs> My bad. Right in the middle, you've got this tub. Absolutely amazing looking too. I love how they put the tile around it, right? Clawfoot tubs were kind of the thing for a while. People are doing this now where they're putting tile around them. It looks really cool. I like it. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of the tubs like that? Do you prefer a clawfoot? Or do you prefer this? It's like got the tile and the big pedestal around it. However you want to call that. Okay. Anyways, you got your water closet. Right next to the water closet, you've got the shower. Now this shower is really cool. Do you remember the DR Horton ones that I showed you guys where you walk in? They've got the controls right there before you go in and then they've got the towel rack. Okay. It's just like that. But you notice this, it's a dual fixture. So you've got your normal shower head there. Then you've got a rain shower head right there. Really cool. So these different fixtures control those two different heads. Love that. Right? Now the last feature, these Taylor Morrison homes. Holy cow. The closet on the master bedrooms is always massive. That is one thing I gotta say about Taylor Morrison is their closets are huge. They have lots of options for hanging clothes. I wouldn't call them like the crazy custom ones like you might find on like a Toll Brothers or a Camelot home, but they are huge, absolutely massive. And a lot of people like this because one, has everything you need. Two, if you do want something more custom, you've got the space. So that's a real thing that draws people in. There are people who buy houses based off the closet. It's kind of funny, but they're out there and this is a good house for that. All right, so that's the Telluride. Like I said, starting at just under a million. This one's in Queen Creek. And part of the reason I wanted to show this was kind of to highlight the importance that I help play with people when they're picking their house. Because for example, if you were moving here, you didn't know the difference between Queen Creek and Scottsdale. There is a big difference. And there's definitely reasons you might want to live in one rather than the other. Um, really depends on your situation. But this is the same floor plan that you can get there, but for a couple hundred thousand dollars less because of where it's located. So that's what I like to do. I like to take people kind of show them when they're not entirely sure where to live. I like to show them the different options because sometimes what will happen with builders like this is it's like, hey, you like that house, but there's this other area. If it works for you, you can get the same house for less. Maybe you like the amenities here. Maybe you like the amenities in Scottsdale. You know, those are different things that we can talk about and decide if it's worth it, as well as I can show you what else is around here. Um, so if you're interested, give me a call. I absolutely love it when you guys reach out. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe keeps me motivated to keep doing these videos and thanks for watching.